know Aiden's gonna like this ice cream here, man. Just me and him. It's his favorite. Aiden! Yeah, I got a surprise for you! Oh my god! Caramel cone ice cream? I love yeah. these! How'd you know? I know, man. I know he's your favorite. My mom would love to share these with me! What? I get ice cream for me and him? And he wants to share with his mom? These boys. Don't go in there, girl! Oh my god, this show be making me so mad! Uh-uh! No, I would no, never... No, no, no. What happened? My dad bought us ice cream! <gasps> Your dad bought us a caramel cone ice cream? How did he know this was our favorite? Such a mama's boy. Why we can't, you know, spend time together? Why can't we father and son? You know, I'm not good enough, you know? I want some ice cream. I want to watch Thor, Love, and Thunder. <sighs> Whatever, man, I'm just over it. It's all good. Aiden, come on, the movie's about to start. Yo, where's our popcorn? Oh, yeah, I forgot. What's a movie night without popcorn, son? I'm sorry, Mom. I'm going to go get it. All right. Thank you, baby. <laughs> I love that kid. He's just so special to me. <sighs> okay. A popcorn shake, yeah. Hmm. Oh, I should get this one. Popcorn shake, yeah. Should I get one for butter? Caramel or sweet and kettle fries. You know what? I need this for my special mom because her favorite popcorn is is butter, home style butter. So uh, goodbye, sweet and crunchy kettle corn. Go goodbye, sweet and cr crunchy caramel. But I'm not using you for my movie. Hmm. Now it's time to bake it. Five minutes. How many minutes am I supposed to bake it? Five, five minutes. Five minutes, okay. Okay, well then. What would I do? What are you doing? 
doing? Oh, I'm just making popcorn for my, me and my mom's movie. What? Are you serious, bro? Popcorn for you and your mom's movie night? Aiden. Really? Dad, what's the problem with that? Stop, stop acting so jealous. Jealous? I'm not acting jealous. It's supposed to be for me and you. Father and son night. And you gonna use the popcorn and eat it with your mom? What about us? What about us? We could do another movie night tomorrow. Aiden, done. you're eating my popcorn with your mom. What about us? What, the ice cream is not enough for you guys? <sighs> Dad, stop being so jealous anyways. Get out of my way. My mom's going for the popcorn. Thank you. Mm, and, that's my favorite. Mm -hmm. And that's what flavor it is. What? I can tell what flavor butter. it is. That's my favorite because you know me mm -hmm. so well, right? Mm -hmm. You know what? I love you so much. Mm -hmm. You're the best son ever. Yeah. Come on, let's watch the movie. Oh, let me go to the bowl. Look at that. Thank you for choosing to watch this movie. Having all that fun without me. Yeah, I know. Spending this time watching so the movie. Fun. Watch it. Yeah, watch the spoilers. No, because I want to watch it all experience. Okay. Let's do this. Top to bottom. Watch this. Wait, what is that shadow? I don't know. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to be me and him spending time with him. You want to spend time with his mom? You're the best to me, also. I'm sorry that my dad tried to interfere on our movie night. He gotta just hang out with Ozzy and Amari. Uh, it's not your fault. Your dad's always trying to be included. Yeah. I don't even know why. Like, he doesn't know you're a mama's too. boy. He thinks that's gonna hurt you by calling you a mama's boy. Mm -hmm. Does that hurt you? No, not at all. I didn't know he was such a mama's boy. That doesn't hurt me. I am a mama's boy, and I love you so much. Aww. That was so sweet. Yeah, mom, you're my favorite. You didn't know that? What? I'm your favorite parent? She's your favorite. <laughs> oh my god. I can't believe that. I didn't know that. I know. <laughs> Wait till your daddy is this. I knew I was the bomb. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, look what's happening. You're doing the hammer. No! Oh my gosh! Boy, your dad is missing out. <laughs> oh God, no! Oh, that gotta hurt, dang. Oh, that look painful. Mm. All I've done for this kid, it's all my she's his favorite. I got a trick for him. Don't worry, I got a trick for him. You want me to spend time with Ozzy and Murray? Okay, I'm gonna show him. I'm gonna show him. Orange? Where are you gonna put it? Where are you gonna put it? <gasps> hey, mom. What's up, Aiden? What happened? Mom. Mm hmm. Can I tell you something and please say yes? What do you wanna tell me? Mom, tell me she is oh. coming up and I need a costume feed. You, are you seriously I asking me about trunk or treat, Aiden? No. We go through this every single year. You ask me the same question every year, and I say, no, Aiden, you're not celebrating Halloween. We're Christians, we don't do that. Please, but trunk or treat is coming up and all my friends are gonna dress up. Mom boy trying to celebrate Halloween, huh? Hmm. Aiden, it doesn't matter if your friends are dressing up. I'm not your friend's parents. I already said no. You ask me every year. Like, why do we have to keep going through this every single year? See, that's what you get for being mom's boy. Come on, mom. You let me dress up last year. Aiden, what was our deal last year? You only dressed up because it did not land on the 31st. Your trunk or treat walkthrough parade was on the 29th. I said, as long as it doesn't land on the 31st, I will let you dress up because it'll be a storybook parade. This year, your teacher said it's on the 31st. Therefore, you're not dressing up. Mom, come on, please. It's just a storybook parade like last year. We have to um dress up as a character that 
we like, read the story you? about. See, on my side, you know what I'm saying? I will take you a little sip of Halloween. But since you want to be mama's boy, look, look, now you want your mama won't even let you go. Aiden, Halloween is a celebration of darkness. Like, if we're supposed to be children of the light, how are we celebrating Halloween, Aiden? Like, you have to understand, it hurts me more than it's gonna hurt you to not let you dress up and have fun with your friends. I, but I have to do that. I can't just let you celebrate that because of what it's about. How about this? We can go to the little carnival that, you know, that they have the little parade and stuff. It's not on the 31st. And we can just hang out and have fun there. I want to dress up at school, please. Aiden, no. Like, you have to understand. They just call it a storybook parade just to, like, kind of cover it up. But they're really just letting you dress up for Halloween. You won't die if you don't dress up, Aiden. You'll be fine, trust me. You're fine every year before last year. This is why I didn't want to let you dress up last year because I knew I was going to have to go through this again this year. Huh? Gosh. Fine, I'll go to the parade. Huh? I know exactly what to do with you on my side. I know exactly what to do. This is gonna be fun. I get him. It's so unfair. Ah! Yo, wait a minute. Slow down, little man. What's wrong? What's going on? My mom won't let me celebrate Halloween because it's the devil's birthday and I'm a Christian. But all my friends are dressing up. And there's a storybook parade where we're supposed to dress up as the um, book costume. Dang, Aiden, I'm sorry to hear that, man. If you'd have asked me, I would have let you go. No, you wouldn't, Dad. You always side with Mom when she says no. No, not all the time, but I want you to go have fun. You know what? Just because you're my favorite son and I love you, I'm going to ask your mom see if she let you go. Wait, really? Of course, man. Thanks, Dad. I'm, I'm your favorite parent, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, I got you. Thank you. No, no, no problem, no problem, man. No sweat, no sweat. All right? I got you, I got you, I got you, all right? I got you. <laughs> Please, but you gonna pay for this. You think I'm gonna help you? After you said your mom is your favorite parent? Come on, bro. You gonna pay now. Payback. <laughs> Take her card so he can buy whatever he meant to buy with it. Aiden, guess what? What happened? Got a surprise for you. What is it? This is what you're gonna do, right? This is what you're gonna use so you can buy the stuff that you need so you go to the party, okay? Mm -hmm. All right. So let's check this out, right? So I spoke with your mom, and she gave me permission to give you the card. Wait, she did? Yeah, of course she did. I told you I, was gonna, I, told you I got you. Thank you, Dad. Yeah, come on, man. I, was, I wasn't going to let you down. But listen, buy what you need, OK? Mm -hmm. A costume or whatever, whatever all that extra stuff that you need. All right? OK. So what you, so your mama's boy now, or your daddy's boy? My dad's boy. Alright, that's what's up, man. That's what's up. I told you I was gonna come through for you. Alright? So you good now? Alright, man. So if you need anything else, let me know. Come to me, okay? Alright? And I got you. You good? Alright. I knew my dad could do it. Where's my laptop? I need to order my costume. Okay, what should I buy? Oh, I'm going to be Marvin Morales for Tonka Treat. And purchase. Oh, I'm going to look raw. Well, I can't wait for my friends to see my costume. What? Why am I getting so many notifications? No way. No, I know he did not just do that. I know this little boy did not just charge my card for a costume on my Amazon account. Babe, uh-uh, 
Oh no. Babe! This excuse me, Amari. Babe! What 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 happened? Oh my gosh. You won't believe what just happened. What? Can you believe Aiden used my card and bought an, a costume on Amazon without my permission? No way. You think he'll do something like that? Bruh, I literally just told him don't do it. I told him we're not buying a costume, he's not celebrating Halloween, and I get a notification. Who else do you think would do it? I don't know, it's hard to believe that Aiden will do it, not your mama's boy. Oh my gosh, I don't know you when serious? he started disobeying me. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure, I got the notification, it's Aiden. But you, that don't sound like Aiden, you told him not to. You know what? Aiden! Get down here right now! Why would you do something like that? Yes, Mom? Aiden, I know it was you. You used my card and bought a costume on Amazon after I just told you not to. But my dad's Are you serious? Aiden, Are you serious? I don't want to hear any of your excuses, okay? No. She said what she said and she's done. Can I? How could you do something like that after she told you not to? Can are I you serious right now? Can I explain? No, Aiden. How can you explain using my card? My dad said. Hey, your mom raised you better than that, okay? My dad. Your, dad, your mom raised you better than that, okay? You know what? Enough is doing. enough. You need to apologize to her right now. We're just not what going you to do this do? again. You know what? Well, Aiden. I don't know what to do. Aiden. I was y'all ground him. I'll take all his electronics and send him into his room. Dad, you go back to your room right now. Your mom's done. She's got you grounded. <gasps> so that's what you gotta do. She's ground him. How could you do something like that? Oh my gosh, my poor baby, my only baby. Like, I told how did he do this I to told me? You. I told you, you, you baby him too much. I do so much. You baby, no, you baby him it's too much. That's what you do. Baby him. Got him. Yo, Aiden. Oh. Hey, Mom. What are you doing? It's time for bed. Why are you still up? You have school tomorrow. Mom, I don't feel so good. What do you mean you don't feel so good? What happened? <coughs> I don't feel so good, Mom. What's going on? Why don't you feel good? What happened? It's that late. I don't think I'll go to school tomorrow. I feel sick. <coughs> How you feel sick all of a sudden? What's going on? What's wrong with you? I just feel sick, Mom. I don't know. I've been trying to hold it in for the past couple hours. What are you holding in? What's wrong? What happened? I was throwing up. <coughs> you was throwing up? Mm-hmm. What else? What's wrong? Oh, you just got to throw up? No, I'm coughing and sneezing a lot. <coughs> You have a cold? Yeah. <coughs> Why you didn't tell me earlier? Because I didn't want you to know. I didn't want to worry you. Oh man, Aiden. Let me check your temperature. Mm. I mean, you don't really feel that hot. I'm hot. Okay, how about this? Get some rest. I'm going to go in the kitchen. I'm going to get you medicine, tea, and... I need a thermometer. I need to see if maybe the thermometer feels something different, but I don't feel anything. You feel kind of normal to me. Okay? And you say your throat hurts. You want a cough drop too? Yeah. All right, so let me go make you a hot tea first, okay? Okay. All right. Don't go. <coughs> Dang, you don't sound too good. Oh my gosh. 
Okay, I'll be back. What's going on with you? Are you okay? I'm just kidding! Yes, she's gone. Now I'm gonna play on my tablet. Now I'm gonna tell my friends that I'm not going to school tomorrow. Hey, guys. I won't be going to school tomorrow because I think sick. Isn't that lucky, right? It is so obvious that I am literally faking it. How did yeah. she never catch me? Now let me go back to my game. Flex him in half. He's bodied. Get body on. You're trash. You're dog water. You're trash, bro. Oh my gosh, my poor baby. I got my thermometer. Um, he said his throat. So let me give him. Oh, I have throat spray. Hey, where's my tea? Okay, I can't find it, so I guess I'll just make him an emergency. And the mucinix, since it sounds like he got a cold. Alright. Hey, I can't believe Aiden was sick this whole time, and I'm just finding out. It's so crazy. Huh. I love playing Ninja Legends. Aiden. Hey, Mom. Oh, Aiden, um, so I have your tea here. <coughs> it's me, hot. Wait, it's hot. Be careful, okay? Here, take a sip. <coughs> Is it too hot for you? It's, it's good. Okay. It's an emergency. Okay, drink it all up. All right. <sighs> Okay, now that you're done with the tea, I have your medicine. Oh, dang. I forgot the syringe. Okay, I'm going to have to go back to the kitchen for it. Yeah, but can this you is spray a, this? Yeah, this is a throat spray. Okay, so this should be for your throat. Your throat should feel better by the morning. Let me check your temperature because for some reason when I touch you, I don't feel like you're burning. So maybe I'm not catching it. So hold on. All right, keep yourself warm, okay? You ready? It says you're 98 degrees. Let's try this again. Hold on. Maybe, maybe I just had it too close to you. Hold on. Yeah, you're 98 degrees, Aiden. I don't think you're, you're having no, a fever. You're rubbing your forehead. Just so it could keep cool. That doesn't mean a fever, Aiden. It's just 98.7. No, you're not messing with this anymore. Get Look, the syringe. I'm going to get the syringe for you. But listen. Any medicine I'm saying is medicine, so get it. Please. All right, anyways, I'm going to go get the medicine for you, the syringe, so that you can take this. You might have to go to school tomorrow, so... But this doesn't say you're sick, Aiden. It says you feel a little better. I thought I was gonna go up. You're about to throw up? Yeah. Wait, wait. Wait, um, let me go get a bucket, okay? I better walk. Oh my gosh. She keeps on falling for it. Get bodied on! Get Yo, Aiden! Get bodied up! Finally, Mom, you're here. Come here. I'm what are you doing? I bring you to 
this bat this bucket for you to throw up in. No, no, no. Cause it looks to me like you were faking this whole time. No. I'm not playing with you. There's nothing in you. Give me this. No. Give it to me now. Aiden. It's my sleeping spot. Listen to me. I don't have time to play with you, okay? I don't know why you're trying to avoid school tomorrow, but I can tell that you're faking sick to skip school. There's nothing wrong with you. This is why you weren't hot. Give me that tablet from under you. What is this? How did it get up down there? You know exactly how it got down there. You had it the whole time. You're supposed to be sleeping for school tomorrow. You're telling me you're sick. I bring you tea, medicine, and I check your temperature. You're not even hot. Then I come back and you're on a tablet playing. So are you trying to trick me this whole time? No. Aiden, what's your problem? What's going on? Why are you trying to avoid going to school tomorrow? Why are you trying to skip school? Because you won't give me a costume. Wait, this whole thing is over a costume? Yes. Aiden. Yeah? You're willing to skip school because I won't let you wear a costume. Yeah. Let me tell you something. I was going to surprise you tomorrow morning. Wait, what? Wait, what? I actually bought you a Miles Morales costume. Wait, you did Wait, no, it? no, no, no. Okay? Because now you lied to me. Wait, what? what where is no. it? No. Uh, no. I'm not sick anymore. I feel better. No. And I know you feel better because you were never sick to begin with. I was. No, you weren't. Yes, Stop talking. Because you're not going to school tomorrow with a costume. You're going in your uniform because oh. you want to lie and you want to you wanna cry wolf and you want to act like you're sick. Aiden, I had this surprise prepared for you just so you can wear your costume just like you want to. I was like, you know what? I thought to myself and I said, hey, let me let you wear a costume. But you're around here playing around acting like you're sick and you like lying. If you oh. were just honest with me, I would have just explained to you my reasonings. But now you're not wearing the costume. I'm gonna return it, and you're gonna learn your lesson. Oh, Mom, Mom, this no, is not fair. you need to go to school tomorrow. So go to bed, cause you're going to class. Now you'll learn your lesson, and know next time not to lie. <gasps> Good night. This is so unfair, man. It's that like I sh I ruined it. Oh, I didn't even know she was gonna prepare me for a costume. I should listen to my mom, man. She's the adult, and I should have listened to her. I really deserve that. I messed everything up. All because I wanted to fix sick. <sighs> Guess I'm going tomorrow to wear my uniform to the trunk or treat. Mom, you ready to get whooped in Jenga? Nah, you won't get whooped in Jenga. Mom, I'm the Jenga master. You already know. Bruh. Just know you got one match, and then you gotta go to bed. You ready to get first? the smack down? These first? Okay, cool. Bam. Mm -hmm. How you how you go away from the bottom? That's how I roll, my G. Whatever. <laughs> I miss playing with you. It sucks that you're still on punishment. Yeah, when am I gonna get off punishment? You do the crime, you gotta do the time. My dad was the one who asked who did that. Your dad didn't do anything, Aiden. Yes, I don't know why did. you keep saying that. See, your dad's an adult. I don't know why you're taking for a kid. He would never do such a thing. Mom, I'm telling you, my dad asked you, is the one who asked you for your card. Your dad never asked me for my card, Aiden. That's because he stole it. No, he didn't. Your dad doesn't have a reason to steal a card from me. So your punishment ends when me and your dad say so. <gasps> Is it gonna be for like a whole month? No, not a whole month. You just grounded for a week. Tim, you can't hold it with your Sam. hand. You gotta take it with one hand. I can't, I can't. Oh, Timbo! I told y'all to look me and the boy. That's not fair, I wasn't ready. You look ready to me, but anyways, it's time for bed. So go ahead, pass me that bag, let me pack up. No, no, just one more match. No, the bag right here. But why can I whip? I already demolished you, kid. There's no way you're gonna whoop me. Mom? What happened, Aiden? Can you do me a favor? I think I'm all out of favors with you. No, 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 no. Just do me one favor. 
What happened? Can you tell Dad to take me off of punishment? It was his idea. Can you talk to him? What was his idea? What are you talking about? He's the one who stole your 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 credit card. No, he did not, idiot. Your dad would never do that to me, man. He was the one who, who was behind him. He cut me off when I tried to tell you the truth. Why would your dad do something? So you're trying to tell me, your dad took my card, gave it to you, a kid, just so that you can become a daddy's boy? Yes! That doesn't make sense, Aiden. I know! He did it! If you're saying this, Aiden, I'll talk to your dad and see if this is true. But I just don't see your dad doing this. Like, your dad is like a grown man. Like, he's an adult. Why does he have time for childish games like that? Mom, you gotta believe me. It was my dad. Aiden, I already just said I'm gonna talk to him. Just go upstairs. When your dad comes down, I'll speak to him. How come? Bruh. What's up, babe? Hey, babe, come here. I need to talk to you. Can I have a word with you for a moment? Yeah, sure. Talk to me. Come sit. All right. This is Siri. What's up, babe? Talk to me. Say your mom. You tell you me. Know. Yeah, I've been seeing it all day, but you tell me what's going on. No, nothing. Just same old, same old. You sure? Yeah. Aiden's telling me that, you know, you're the one behind all of that credit card Amazon purchase situation. What? He says, yeah, he says that you took my card out of my purse and acted like you asked me. I'm just trying to understand. Why would I do that? That's what I'm trying to find out. He said you did that because you wanted him to be a daddy's boy. No, I would never do something like that. If I want to take a card, all I have to do is just ask you. Are you sure, babe? Yeah. Because I would hate to have grounded Aiden, my precious baby, over something you did. You know how bad he wanted a costume? When these kids want something real bad, they're going to do whatever it takes to get it. And that's what he did, babe. I know you're starting to feel bad for Aiden, but you did the right thing. Okay? But my car though, that's just not like Aiden. Babe, you did what you had to do. You grounded him. You're a good parent. He deserved it, babe. Maybe you're right. Sometimes I need that reassurance from the other parent to let me know that I didn't go so hard on the punishment. Cause I'm just like, dang, like he 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 was so sure that it was you. And I'm like, your dad would never do that to me. That's what I'm saying. Why would I do something like that? Alright, man. Is that what you say? Yeah. Alright, love you. I love you too. You need anything? Um, no, not you really. sure. Yeah. Alright. I love you. Love you too. Bye. Bye. Something doesn't seem right about Vino. <sighs> Still crowded. Why does my dad always want to plan stuff for me? He always wants to play around me for no reason. So you snitching now, right? I didn't talk about You think I was going to find out, huh? I do not know. So you try to get me in trouble. Oh! The one that you make me did? Did what? You can't prove it. Oh! What? Yes, I did. And you deserved it. Mama's How did boy, I deserve it? Because you're mama's boy. Wow. And you think you so behind my back right? and tell your mother that I did those things to you? Like she's going to believe you. Huh? That's my wife. She's never going to believe you. And I'm going to make you pay for that. Dang, so Bino really was behind all of this. What else could he do? I'm already grounded. Just wait. I got a little more tricks coming. Dad, just leave me alone. I don't know why you're bothering me anyways. I just want to be a mama's boy. That's right, Aiden. Express yourself. Let him know how you feel. There's nothing wrong with a boy loving his mom. You're supposed to be a daddy's boy. Like Ozzy and Amari. Then why can't I be both? You can be both, but you don't act like you're both. That's why, because you don't want to spend time with me. I try to spend time with you, but you're always busy. I'm not busy. Never too busy for you. You just don't understand. You just don't get it. I try to share ice cream with you. You run around, you take the ice cream, and you go eat ice cream with your mother. That's supposed to be our thing. I try to share popcorn with you. You went ahead and took popcorn and ate it with your mom. You don't even spend the time with me anymore. Bino was right this whole time. Bino did that to him. I didn't know how you felt. I, I thought you didn't want to play with me every time because you were busy. I didn't know you wanted to play with me every day. You could have just asked me. Now you know. I had to do what I had to do to get my son back. Oh yeah, babe? What? Oh yeah, what? 
So, you were behind all of this? Behind what? I stood out there and listened to you confess that you were the one that stole my card so you to get yourself. payback on Aiden. What? That's, that's what you heard? I heard yes. everything. So you eavesdropping on us? Is that what you're telling me? It doesn't matter I can't, what I can't I have a talk with my son without you eavesdropping on us? Babe, I asked you out there. Aiden told me what was going on and I asked you and you lied in my face. Why would you do that to my son? I, okay, I did it. You made me ground him. And you were the one that grounded him. He, he was just spending too much time with you and you know me and him used to bond and everything and, and now that you you know, like you, you come along and you know you took away our, our ice cream time. Like we used to eat popcorn together and stuff, and yeah, you just Dad, come away. Yeah, but sometimes I spend time with it. my mom. I never spend time with her. Yes, you do. So. And I miss those times that we used to have together. You were jealous. Just a little bit. So you try to get Aiden in trouble so that I would no longer be with my baby. I just want my son back. He will always be your son, Vino. You don't have to do these things. He's both of our child. You know what, Aiden? You're no longer grounded. Yes! As for you, sir, you're in the doghouse. Wait, what, what, uh, wait, wait, wait. You're what? on punishment now. Wait, wait, how? See, Dad? Lying won't get you nowhere. The truth always comes at the end. Oh, I messed up. I'm sorry. That's okay, Dad. Good night.